people kept saying, oh, the goat is here, the goat is here. And I was like, guys, where's this goat at? And they were like, oh, it's you. And I was like, that's kind of weird. It may seem weird to her, but that's a befitting way to refer to her. Do you agree? Well, whether you do or don't, people actually call her that. So that's that. And because she is the GOAT, people are wondering if she will be present in Paris, because some of her strong competitors sure are intent on going. In fact... A gente vai dar 110% da gente. É. Because we are going to give 110% about us. That's Rebecca Andrade for you. After all, the 24-year-old Brazilian Olympic gold medalist has overcome years of setbacks to become one of gymnastics' brightest stars today. So arriving in Paris with more than 100% is totally possible for her. Case in point, or rather, the best example would be her astounding performance last season. While she was last to go for her team on the final event, vault, at the Artistic Gymnastics World Championships 2023 in Antwerp, Belgium, she still catapulted her squad to a silver medal. To be fair, they were already on the precipice of a historic team medal, and Rebecca simply sealed the deal, so to speak, after she performed with her trademark style and power. It was such an amazing moment that she was barely back to the chairs for the apparatus before her team surrounded her in celebration. It was a long-awaited moment for many years. Andrade shared in an exclusive interview at the end of the world. I, too, was very happy and proud of our team and of everything we did in the competition. We were there doing our best and looking for our best result. Why is it a long-awaited moment, you may ask? Just so you know, the medal comes some 16 years after Jade Barbosa's first global medal and eight years after Andrade and Flavia Sareva's senior international debuts. Most of all, though, what is undoubtedly Brazil's greatest generation of female gymnasts ever have become closer than simply teammates through all the ups and downs. On that note, it isn't too surprising to have heard Rebecca say, I think my team is my second family. We need to have this connection and this thing of always supporting and helping each other, which makes a lot of difference because we are in competition and out as well. Obviously, her team's support does help her, as is proven by the fact that she claimed five of the possible six medals, including a second world vaulting title in Antwerp. What's more, she was part of a historic women's all-around podium that saw three black women, Simone Biles, Andrade, and Shalisi Jones, claim the medals. The medalists in the women's all-around competition at the World Championships of Artistic Gymnastics in Antwerp. It was a historic podium. The Brazilian gymnast shared later. I think for many people, it's something that inspires so much because we keep showing that even with all the difficulties, it's possible to do it. Being among these three black women was something very, very, very incredible for me. She also recounted a heartwarming moment from the event where Simone Biles lifted an imaginary crown from her own head before placing it on Andrade the absolute lifeblood of any championships of gymnastics and I know for many of them. You may have heard Bile say, you got it, and that's pretty special too. Rebecca undoubtedly appreciated the gesture. I saw it as something genuine, spontaneous, to recognize the position she has in gymnastics in the world. She said, I'm so proud to know that I can continue her legacy, not just me, but so many others. It's the sport we love. It was a huge honor to have her competing again, happily. It was incredible energy, one of the best competitions of my entire career. For her part, Simone Biles is not considered the most decorated gymnast for nothing. You all know that. I don't think anyone is about to argue the title, given that she has seven Olympic medals, four gold, one silver, and two bronze, in addition to her 30 World Championship medals, 23 gold, 4 silver, and 3 bronze. She, too, celebrated the fact that she shared the podium with two other black women. Simone Biles has stood on an awful lot of podiums and had the U.S. anthem played in her honor. She said in a tweet, Black Girl Magic. The original tweet, on the other hand, said, The first all-black world all-around podium. Biles, through an interview later on, expressed her joy at sharing the podium with Andrade and Jones. We had all black podium of girls, so I think that was amazing, black girl magic. So hopefully it teaches all the young girls out there that you can do anything you put your minds to, so keep training hard. 
Vile stated that she has worked hard to regain the confidence to compete at the highest level after taking a mental health break following the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. And so she came to Antwerp, which is coincidentally the same place where she first earned her world medal 10 years ago as a 16-year-old with a collection of 23 world titles. It was also her stunning return to the international stage after a two-year hiatus. I was emotional because 10 years ago I won my first Worlds. Now we're back here. So it was emotional. It means everything to me. The fight, everything that I've put in to get back to this place to feel comfortable and confident enough to compete," she said. Her gold medal rush began in the women's balance beam final where she was fourth to go. In the floor final, Biles claimed her second gold medal of the night, earning a 14.633 to hold off on Draje's 14.500. Those were her 29th and 30th career medals at the World Artistic Gymnastics Championships. Even though she did, she admitted that Rebecca is a strong competitor. We had Rebecca on every single podium with me, so I feel like we give each other the best push that we can to bring out the best athletes. Vile said of the history-making Brazilian. In addition to the pair of gold medals she won early on, she also claimed a silver medal on vault after the sixth all-around title that made her the most decorated gymnast in history, male or female. But that's not all. The U.S. women earned a record seventh consecutive team title at the event, which was Biles' 33rd major championship medal across the Worlds and Olympics. If you didn't know already, the U.S. women have won gold in the team event at every world championships that included a team competition since 2011. Their victory in Antwerp broke a tie with the Chinese men for the longest streak of consecutive team titles. Well, will we see the same dominance in Paris? In fact, will we see Simone Biles there? Well, her coach, Cecile Landy, said Biles doesn't want to speak in detail about the Olympics yet to protect herself and avoid the pressure. But for us as coaches, it's obviously the goal, Landy said, and we will get her ready for that if she wants it. But should she go compete in the Summer Olympics, she will keep the same laid-back attitude she had at the Worlds, training properly and having a whatever-happens-happens happens attitude. I think we're going to take that approach, the same one that we took this year, she said last year just meet by meet and we'll see where we end up. Some think that Paris 2024 is potentially the last chance to see the iconic Olympian compete. After all, she would be 27 years old at the start of the Paris Games, an age by which most Olympic gymnasts have long since retired. For Rebecca Andrade, she isn't shutting the door on continuing her career in artistic gymnastics after this summer's 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. I don't know, she said in a recent interview with Brazilian Marie Claire. It's going to depend on my body. Well, we'll see. For now, take a look at Kalen Walker's progress and try to see if we will be seeing him in Paris too.